The pandemic forced many summer camps to cancel in 2020, but 2021 is looking better, Raphael. We are hoping that 2021 is way better, Megan. WRTV's Kelsey Anderson tells us how a Greenwood mother of three in Johnson County is looking forward to hopefully a sense of normalcy. Good morning, Kelsey. In a few short months, this auditorium is going to be filled with junior thespians learning, rehearsing, and performing their summer play as Ron Colley High School gets set to host their summer camp and safety precautions are taking center stage. Last year, we didn't do our typical camps. 2020 was anything but typical, and for families like the Schneiders, that meant giving up a beloved summer tradition, going to camp. We kind of use it as a way to reduce screen time during the summer, but also get them into enrichment activities and fun things to do. But summer 2021 is looking up for mom Chelsea and her husband. They let the oldest kids pick a camp for this year, and the two are taking their talents to theater camp. So we are very excited that there are summer camps happening this year. We're excited to be able to have the show again. I mean, last year was a disappointment. I, I think, you know, the world was disappointed uh, with a lot of things, and so um, to allow students to be able to get back in here, uh, do those things that they love, uh, experience theater, and, and just be with their friends and perform. It's, it's, it's going to be exciting. Phil Anderson is the theater director at Ron Colley High School, home of the Ron Colley Royals Theater Camp. He says this summer the kids will take the stage for a production of Willy Wonka Jr., a play he says is good for social distancing. The cast itself is able to be separated really because there's there's not that intimate feeling of the show. And so we're able to separate more on stage. We're able to separate more as we're rehearsing. Uh, and so it, it really allowed us to be able to do those types of things amongst all of the restrictions that are out there right now. On top of that, Anderson says they will also be wearing masks, having students do self checks and of course have hand sanitizer throughout the auditorium. So I have absolute, you know, 100% confidence where we're putting them will will be fine and they'll mitigate the risk as much as anybody you know, can mitigate the risk right now. There are still spots left for this summer camp. To learn more information on that, head over to this story on the WRTV News app. Working for you, Kelsey Anderson, WRTV.